Animation libraries nowadays are very, very ugly, like GSEP for example, or Frame Emotion, but Frame Emotion is kinda okay. Animating with GSEP kinda feels like making a design diploma, but we are no designers, we are developers and we want it clean and simple. And for that, I found Rombo. Actually, my vacuum cleaner is called uh, Rombo, but this is not about my vacuum cleaner, this is about a brand new Tailwind plugin allowing you to make animations more beautiful, performant and accessible. And today, we are going to take a quick look at it. Let's jump into the code and yeah, all we have is just a simple diff centering a winky hand emoji and yeah, just looking like that, pretty clean and pretty simple, but I want to have some animations in here. So let's, yeah, let's implement Rombo in this application. So we install Rombo by just uh, installing it with a package, so you can use npm or pmpm, i minus d, and then this is called Tailwind CSS Motion, like that. So we just install this. That was the first thing. And the second thing we need to do is to go into our Tailwind config.ts. And this is a plugin, as I already mentioned. So we need to, yeah, include it here in the plugins array in the tailwind.config.ts file. So we just say something like that, require Tailwind CSS motion. He's crying now around with the ESLIN stuff. We can disable this now, but this should not happen for you. I think this is just because I use some release candidate stuff here. So yeah. With that done, we have installed Rombo into our project, but now we need to use it. And the handy thing about that is that we can just write classes. So what we can do is to type something like motion, and you see we have so many classes here, but we can do something like maybe rotate. I mean, I want this winky hand, so it should rotate maybe 45 degrees. And then I maybe want some uh, spring bouncy easing in stuff, maybe here, motion easy spring bouncy. That sounds exactly like what I want. We save that and let's look into it and refresh the page. And we have a simple but effective winky animation. And that's actually it. It was so easy to implement this, but you can get a lot further. So let me just get some code here and copy that. And okay, I know what you think. This is kind of complex. I know, I know, I know, but this is a also a very beautiful animation so it needs to be complex so let's look at it and we refresh the page and this is coming in blurry and winky and uh, delayed and there are so many things in here and let me tell you once you get used to this library it's like it's it's, it's actually like learning tailwind once you get used to the library you get very fast with it and you just build animations like it's nothing and that's so so handy like for real handy. <laughs> but the nice thing is that you don't need to learn all those things. You can just use presets. Yes, actually they have presets built in. So you can type motion minus preset into your Tailwind class. And then you have some presets like, for example, some fun stuff like confetti, I think. Is it there when I refresh the page? Yes, we have just a simple confetti animation. We have something like bounce, I think. So let's look at that. Yeah, simple bounce, very useful for a lot of pages actually. And what else do we have? And we also have some experimental kind of stuff like flow emoji and then we can specify some emojis here like a thumbs up. Let's look at this. Okay, yeah, that looks a little bit off now, but this is because I use two emojis, but maybe sometimes this could be very, very handful. And yeah, just to give you a quick idea how we, uh, yeah, I used to do that with frame and motion, for example, and I really need to tell you frame and motion is the nice way of doing it. GSEP is even worse, but in frame and motion, code like this, code like a simple hand thing will look like that. And yeah, let's be honest, just writing Tailwind classes is so much more satisfying than going around with stiffness and damping and those double object uh, things. And yeah, you know what I mean. And yeah, you can just use this for daily tasks in normal websites. So for example, on my website and on the contact page, I have the submit button. And when I refresh the page, this submit button just get this nice thing. I don't know how to uh, <laughs> how to do that in front of the camera, but you got me. Uh, yeah, so you can just use this for nice, clean animations, making your websites feel more intuitive, more nice, more clean. And there's actually one more thing here. There is a, okay, you can see here the presets uh, I already told you, but there is also a section for custom animations where you can just build them online. So you just can go in here and say, okay, mm, I have a model on my page and 
yeah maybe I want the opacity to be like that so maybe I want to place it like here so it's coming from there then maybe let's say I want it to be blurry let's say I want it to be with a great opacity like 50% something like that and then I can just play around with that here and copy the classes afterwards uh, so just for my tailwind, this is these are just tailwind classes, so I can copy them and put them in my class name object or class object or whatever you need, and that's it. It's working. You just can build it in here, and they actually, they actually just developed or are just developing at the moment a yeah a online visual editor for a plugin for I think Chrome yeah Chrome extension. So you can sign up for the waitlist and. Yeah, then you get access in, I think, November. We are already in November, so maybe in a few days, maybe in a few weeks, you can get access to that and you can just design your animations in a visual editor in or on your web page. And this is so crazy. There's a lot of possibilities in here. And I really like the dudes uh, making that. We can look in Twitter, for example, and they're just releasing new stuff every week. Kind of like here, 11 hours ago, they just say looping animations are almost here. So this is another nice thing that is coming, looping animations, very, very useful for that. You can see what's going on with that, like those settings, icons, which are just, yeah, rotating. And yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Shout out to my video about Tailwind. And yeah, subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.